Welcome back. This is In Real Time. I'm Costa Maragas. Great to have you on board on our debut show. Here's one question for you. What next for the Saskatchewan Rough Riders and the Canadian Football League? By now, I'm sure you've heard the news that the league has pulled the plug on the season. Basically, lack of funding or no funding, we should say, from Ottawa. So what happens now? Well, one guy who has some of those answers is Rod Peterson, host of The Rod Peterson Show, which is a daily sports show on Facebook Live. Hi there, Rod. How are you doing, Custom? I'm fine, and I'm glad you're dressed for the weather, because <laughs> I'm not. You're, I, you're the smart one here, not me. I'm, I'm significantly you know. underdressed, so yeah, <laughs> you I look apologize. You look just fine. You look just fine. Uh, what went through your mind when you heard the official news that the league, uh, the CFL, was cancelled for the season? Not surprised. The people that I trust were telling me there's no way that they were, could play. The people that uh, have a spotty record of that were saying, no, no, they're going to play, they're going to play. <laughs> but no, for logistical reasons, Costa. And the other, which is a fantastic topic, is I didn't think, I was 50-50 on the federal government providing funding. The CFL people thought there was an absolute slam dunk they were going to get the money. There's a lot of reasons why they didn't. Mm -hmm. And um, Public health is the number one concern of the government right now. It's not sports leagues, oh. but mm -hmm. the leagues don't see it that way. So I was kind of chatting with government officials, obviously CFL people. I just, I wasn't surprised. Well, what was the attitude of government towards the CFL here? They what were you willing heard? to provide funding under their terms. Ah. The CFL wanted the funding on the CFL's terms. Well, what is the government's terms would it be? What do you think it would they be? They wanted to do a deep dive on the books of the Canadian Football ah. League. If they were going to financially prop up this league, let's look at how you've been doing business and why are you the only professional sports league in Canada that's knocking on our door when the other leagues are playing? What's right. the story here? And the CFL, it was, a, it was a, from what I've been led to believe, a time and resources situation that Time was a factor. We're into mid-August, yes. right? So they didn't have time to facilitate that deep dive. So they canceled the season, and now they're left to pick up the pieces and see what's next. Well, speaking of picking up the pieces, what's the deal with the players now? What, what have you been hearing from some of the players? I heard uh, Blue Bombers president Wade Miller saying earlier this week that they don't know what they're going to do with the player contracts. The contracts say in it, if there's no season, this contract will be rendered null and void. Well, the owners are saying it's not, the pandemic <laughs> wasn't written into the contracts, True. right? So this is a brand new thing. There's no handbook for this. So the Players Association and the owners are currently talking about this right now. Nobody really knows what's best for the CFL. For, you know, talking to insiders, the players don't necessarily want their contracts void. Oh. Cody Fajardo wouldn't. Right. He's making close to half a million dollars right. and has another year left on his deal. So that's being worked through right now. I talked to an agent this morning mm. in the Canadian Football League who works with NFL players too. In the event of an NFL season being suspended, which could still happen, they haven't kicked off yet, all those contracts will be pushed back a year. Mm -hmm. CFL hasn't reached that conclusion yet. And I'm wondering, what are these players doing now that the season's done? What what are you hearing about what they're doing? Well, the, the German player that plays for the Rough Riders was released Wednesday morning. He's gone to play in Finland. Charleston Hughes is doing landscaping right now. This is a guy that the made... The all-star guy. Yeah, made $10,000 a game playing football. Right. He's landscaping in southwestern Saskatchewan right now. So guys are getting jobs. There was, as you know, Caustic, as you've been a rider season ticket holder a long time, this league was built on... Guys that had second jobs, True. we kind of got away from that. Well, that's back to where we are now. They're doing what they need to do to make ends meet. And how are the Rough Riders as a team going to make the ends meet? I think they're panicked over there considerably right now, and for good reason, because the president said that they'd be out of money by the end of September if there was not some sort of financial aid. Well, you see that that's not coming. Yeah. So they're talking about potential uh, back to the telephone issue. But just remember, in the 80s and 90s, when the Riders did that, that was just to save the riders it's the entire league here in 2020 that needs the problem so is there enough money in saskatchewan to fund the entire cfl i don't think I so. i doubt that but no. what's even the likelihood of all nine teams coming back if they do resume in 2021 that question's coming up a lot i was on the radio in ottawa the other day and the host asked that very question and i said listen it's fun to talk about it's not really worthwhile right now the cfl needs to the, the cfl needs to save itself and I believe you're going to be seeing a wave of layoffs coming up here. Uh, league decision makers trying to discern what's the bare minimum staff they can use to just get by. Now, Costa, there's three community-owned teams and the rest are privately owned in the CFL. People forget just last year, the Montreal Alouettes owners turned the keys back to the league and said, we're out. And that was that in a good cost, year. What did that cost the riders? $600,000. So $600,000 there. Yeah, per team. So it's... 
That was pre-pandemic. They were not in good shape before this, Costa. So the point being, the entire league could go down vis-a-vis folding, but that doesn't mean it won't be back up and running by 2021. That's exactly what's happened with the XFL. And they're talking about a possible rebirth, and we can talk about that as Mm -hmm. details come out, but you certainly gave us great insight here, Rod, into what's going on, and I really do appreciate it. Thanks for having me, yeah. Thank you very much.